Hello and welcome to another screencast from NARCL. My name's Jason Scully and today's screencast is about job tickets on the Turbona Enterprise platform. Obviously you're going to need to make sure you have the correct version of Turbona Enterprise. This is typically version 3.6 and above and the obvious license that goes with this particular module. As usual, if you've got any queries, questions or you need a bit of help, please email me at turbona at nercl.co.uk. Thank you. Okay, as you can see, I am currently a dispatcher at Demo 1, logged into my local radio server here. Uh, there's another dispatcher, Jason S, which is in another room. Um, there's one radio currently switched on. I'll switch my hand portable radio on for the purpose of the demonstration, which is next to me on the table. This is version 3.6. Uh, very similar interface. The couple of new things maybe is the addition of the quick command section here in the blast tone facility. A couple of other minor minor things which we'll cover in future screencasts. As you can see, hand portable is now turned on blue, the RS has kicked in. Okay, with today we're talking about job ticketing. As you can see, lots of information on the screen. It's all quite logical, quite straightforward. I'll walk you through it. Top section of job ticketing is typically jobs which have been created but not assigned yet. So these are active jobs or current jobs. Um, it's a bit self-explanatory really. Um, the blow section of the jobs which have we've allocated to radios. As you can see down here, I've only got two radios switched on today. My static radio and my hand portable radio. As you can see above, no radios have been assigned. Uh, typically if it's green, it means that a job was allocated, the subscriber unit accepted, started the task and then ended the task within the specified end time. In other words, success. The more greens the better, I'm sure. If it's orange, it typically means it's gone over time, over the specified time. As usual with Turbinate, you get a load of information. If you hover over the line, it'll give you the actual text or the job in this particular instance. Okay. Again, down here as well. Maybe the easiest way to show this is to start a job. Again, okay, press F2 or press the icon, whatever's easiest, and that creates my job, job ticket entry window. The ticket ID is new, in other words, it's going to allocate the next job number, so in theory it should be job ticket 64. And as usual with TurboNet, I have the facility to make my own little template. I'll create one called Test 2. I've ticked these boxes for priori priority, date and time to be included within the template. So. In this particular instance, I'll put urgent collection. As you can see, if you use your templates correctly, I've already got 15 to 20 characters already pre-written, so it's very quick. Urgent collection from goods in to go to labs, ASAP. Okay, we're going to have a deadline of 10 minutes on this to make it a high priority. Additional comments, uh, we could put blood samples. for Dr. Smith. Okay, um, preview what's actually going to be sent. And as you can see, job tickets number, that's the high priority. There's the date and time, there's the job tickets. The high and the date and time is related to these tick boxes that we did earlier. Bottom right hand corner of the screen is basically saying I have 42 characters left. We're not sending one piece at the moment, just nice, quick, brief concise texts. Click OK. That as you can see ticket 64 is new ticket. OK. Um, that's the details I'm going to send. We haven't allocated to anybody yet. We right click on this and assign it to a radio. Again for the purpose of the demonstration we'll use the hand portable right next to me. Click OK. As you can hear my radio is chirping. I've got a job ticket. If I read the text, yes very good. I'm going to reply, and because I don't have an SL4000 radio, I've got a, I'm currently using a 3000 series radio, I'm just going to quick text them back, and I'm going to quick text in progress, which I've been previously set up to say, start the job basically. And as you can see, subscriber is embarked on the task, ticket 34, 64, sorry. As you can see, the icon has now changed, the status has now changed to in progress, and more importantly, the start time has now been displayed with a specified end time. If I don't finish the task before this end time, the icon will go orange. Okay, um, Because I'm really efficient and for the purpose of the demonstration I will complete this particular ticket. 
to send another quick text in this in this particular instance I'm just going to send the text completed to my radio server there you go finish the task fantastic it goes green because I specified it sorry I n I completed it before the specified end time if I want to create a duplicate of that ticket 61 if I right click on 61 and, and choose the option create based on blood sample from labs to go to Dr. Peter's office different doctor make it a low priority make it an hour doctors on lunch click OK then we can assign that read, I'll accept the job at the moment I sent the status back to the Turbonet radio server as accepted not start so as you can see for all the status has changed to accepted and the icon has changed the start time hasn't done yet so basically I've accepted the job I haven't actually arrived at the job this is maybe for facility maintenance type staff who gets jobs allocated to them um, maybe get six jobs straight away and then you can accept all six jobs so the dispatcher knows that I th that they've got that they've allocated the five jobs correctly um, and as as you'll see in a second if I now bring up the job I've arrived to the job physically had to walk to the plant room or wherever and as you can see I accepted the job I've now arrived at the plant room, so I've started the job that could be for lung worker reasons health and safety reasons um, jobs now changed to in progress and now the start time is that it okay again I'll just complete that for the purpose of the demonstration inbox there you go so that's a quick overview of job tickets and how we can enter jobs how the subscriber can accept the job start the job complete the job again another important feature you can do is uh, make it a high priority put the job in the system uh, right click it I'm going to sign it to that radio again but I'm going to reject the job from the hand portable if I have that text okay I've declined or rejected the job because I can't do it the inst the um, the dispatcher instantly says that the radio ID is displayed rejected okay it still allocates it still occupies a, a ticket number and now we can put a comment um, gone home hill how ironic and there's the comment there okay one useful feature is the grouping feature if I want to say group the statuses just drag the column into the area above and now I can look at a snapshot there it's organized the data sets organized with the statuses so there's all me accepted me cancelled me completed me in progress just reset them back to normal okay fantastically powerful not too difficult and can be used in a numerous amount of ways another feature we can do is job ticket and monitoring again I'll just update that as you can see in a quick snapshot pie charts completed cancelled rejected new in progress uh, there's 26 jobs being allocated today that's how they were allocated there's the two radios I've allocated them to if I go back a week there might be a third radio there you go there's the third radio of which two jobs were allocated and there's the new radio there so uh, as you can see you can typically see how well your jobs are being done or more importantly how they're not being done another fantastic option on this is job ticketing under reports and statistics as usual with TurboNet the feature set is very detailed you can specify your start and end date your filter and you can just choose a particular radio if you want for the report um, a particular dispatcher uh, the priority so you just want a list of you just want to report of all the, pri the high priority jobs that were done um, or just all the accepted jobs for instance 
or even a job that had the text uh, Dr. Smith, for example, general rep report. And with all these jobs here, yeah, all the jobs I have got Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith in. It's just so powerful, it's, it's, I'm sure it ticks everybody's boxes for this. If I generate the report again, um, I can then print, I can then change the page setup, I can then email, I can then change the colour, don't like that colour, I can then create a watermark, either from a picture, or a simple text. Um, very, very powerful and very, very useful for document control. I urge everybody to use it when creating reports. So that's job ticket in, in a nutshell. I'm sure th certain new features will get added uh, as we go on. I see the scope for this being huge. Okay, I've mentioned SL4000s have job ticket in is, is a native function within the radio. Uh, the new Motorola radios, the DM, the DP4000s, uh, don't have ticket, uh, job tickets yet. I believe it's coming later on in the year is a standard feature set. Uh, not to worry though, you can use quick texts and do something very, very similar. What I'll do now is I'm going to log on as an administrator. And this will give me access to another set of features. As usual, got the wrong password. There we go. We're now logged on as administrator, and as you'll see, there's another tab being made available. It says extended messages. It really means statuses. I think it's a little bug in this version. Uh, as you can see, um, these are the status names. So if I just click on the first one, started. Okay. Basically, this refers to a text message. Text message started. Um, be careful how uppercase and lowercase. It means if you don't use a capital S in this particular instance on your radio, if it's spelt differently, it'll not the TurboNet will not rec recognize it. Uh, so basically, if TurboNet gets the text started or the status started, it means a task is going to be started by the user. That's just basic descriptive text. Um, basically, when TurboNet gets started, what do you want it to do? And basically, we're going to I can change it to whatever I want really. In this particular instance, it's in progress. Okay, if I st if I in the example previously. If it gets the uh, job, gets the text message accepted, um, it just the, the status isn't in progress. It just means that I've accepted the job. There's many ways we can do this, and it's quite configurable. I'm quite impressed. Uh, I had that 50 radios out there, and that didn't have a particular text message that I wanted, so I changed the system to suit. Um, I had, for instance, start and accepted being the same, doing the same status in progress doing the same one so instead of programming 50 radios I could just change the status descriptions on here and I achieve what I needed to achieve. Okay that's just a very very brief introduction into job tickets. Um, if you've got any questions queries uh, please email me at turbonet at nercl.co.uk. Thank you very much. <laughs>